what's it like being Mark's brother? We had our fights. It was when I started to see his real focus and determination that I started to realise, no, he's actually, he is my brother, but he's also capable of a lot more than I ever realised that I thought I'll give him as much support as I can. I'd rather give him support and him fail as opposed to not give him any support and not give him an opportunity to fail. First day in Austria here at the campsite. Had a, a lovely night's sleep in, in my big tent over there. Feeling good. Got up this morning, had a nice run, and now thinking better go and register and get ready for my race. The first thing which I need to do is to register and get my race pack. And then I take my kit bags and try and sort out what goes in which one. present in Great Britain. So I take all my kit to the transition area. In the week leading up to the Austria Ironman, I started to realise just how hard it was going to be for Mark to qualify. And I decided I wasn't going to let Mark know that I realised how tight it would be. On the race evening, it's quite wise to get straight to bed after some food. I have this dream where um, in the race, in the World Championships this year in Las Vegas and I break, break through the, the ribbon and all of a sudden, boom, my body just drops to the floor and I feel dead, weightless. When I woke up in the morning, I thought about the dream and I thought if that was the case, to raise awareness for people who are persecuted for what they believe in, in mainland China, it would be so worth it. Morning, this is James hijacking Mark's video camera then, <laughs> and we're just about to wake him up. No, he's not in there. I wonder where he is. Is he warming up outside maybe? The proper way an Iron, Iron Man warms up? Let me guess. Here we go, the car's going. So, is this how an Ironman warms up, Mark? This is warming up this morning, stretching out, <laughs> warming up, a couple of star lunges in the car. What I'm thinking race morning is that I need to feel good, I need to feel warm, I need to really focus on what it is I have to do that day and check that all my kit is prepared and that I won't lose any time through lack of preparation. I need to really plan the whole race and what's going to happen where. Leading into a race, knowing that it was going to be quite tight, I felt quite relaxed about the day's events. I'll let the nerves build up as I see how he's progressing over the course. My age group was the second wave of triathletes to set off. So this was quite good in that there wasn't too many people ahead of me. When the horn went to start swimming, I got my head down and started to swim with the rest of the crowd. Shortly into the swim, I got hit in the face and my goggles came off and the other side of the goggle got stuck to my eye. It, rather than try to fiddle, I, I just kept on swimming and 
I followed the yellow hat around the lake and just tried to stay somewhere near the front and to try and guide my way through. I got out of the water feeling quite disorientated. I straight away stopped to, to sort my goggles out to try and see some sense through, through them. And then I ran as quickly as I could, which wasn't very quick after that swim to the second lake and dived in and just really focused on getting round. I got out of the lake after swimming feeling like as if I'd gone a bit too slow so I really rushed as quickly as I could to get onto my bike and was in a little bit of a frenzy trying to catch up on lost time. I tried to follow how Mark was doing by getting myself to key vantage points where I knew I'd be able to spot him and must have missed him coming out of the swim and got myself round to an area on the side of the course where I could try and follow him if he came past. I found out at the same time that there was a live tracking system so at that point I realised I could follow him on my phone. Once I got on my bike and started pedalling though I slowly found that I could calm down and get into the race. Everyone in Austria was very fast because it's that kind of course, it, it kind of caters for the fast athlete and everyone there was there to do business, they were really serious. At that point I realised the swim wasn't great as I could see but he was making a lot of time up in the cycle but I didn't try to get any hopes up because I realised just how much time he needed to make up and how quick the cycle was. It was uh, a personal best time actually over that distance, so I was actually really pleased. Come on. Getting off the bike and onto the run was quite stressful because I had put a lot of energy into the bike and my legs were a little bit um, in cycling mode and not in running mode but I quickly got my trainers on and ran off and the pins and needles I had in my foot, I could hardly feel my legs slowly started to ease off, but it did take one whole lap of the two lap run course, so it wasn't the best start to my run. Coming towards mile 12 in the run, I really felt like I'd put um, a lot of effort into it. It was a hot day and I was really hoping to get to the finish as quickly as possible for it just to be time to just relax. No. Come on, Mark. During the run I could tell how well he was doing because they do three laps of the same course and as I saw him cross the finish line in just over five hours, at that point I realised it was probably highly unlikely he had qualified because I realised he needed close to four and a half, four and three quarter hours. I've just crossed the finish line and I'm really relieved. I'm hoping that my time may be fast enough to qualify me but I'm really relieved to have finished the race and to have put everything into it. That evening I went to the race supper to wait for the roll down of athletes who had qualified for the World Championships or not, hoping that my name might get called. But kind of knowing that it might be down to the, the roll down rather than the time because there were so many fast athletes.
My age group's roll down was the second to be called out and I quickly realised that I hadn't quite made it. I had one more chance to qualify for the World Championships this season and it was Wimbledon.